Some establishments, including local ones, are feeling the impact of a food distributor strike. Union members from Cisco are on strike in Indianapolis and Louisville. And News 10's Blake Dollier talked with a local truck driver today. He's live in Terre Haute to explain what he's learned. Blake? Caitlin, I'm live outside the D Davis Drive Dairy Queen here in Terre Haute. This place, like many places, rely on Cisco for food deliveries. But the Teamsters Union 135 is on strike, and that's causing a lot of problems for places like this one. Local 135 and Cisco are currently negotiating a new contract to replace the one that expired on March 3rd. The union is asking for better benefits and wages. I talked with one of Cisco's truck drivers about the strike. He told me his deliveries to fast food restaurants, mom and pop shops, and nursing homes have all been disrupted. He hopes the strike will draw attention to his own wage and insurance concerns. We just want to be up there, warehouse drivers. We want to be up there with the rest of the, the, the food distributors as well, and we're not meeting that mark. We reached out to Cisco and in a statement, the company said it regrets that the union has chosen to walk out on customers. The company also said it offers top of market wages and good benefits. You can see Cisco's full statement on our website. We also reached out to some local Dairy Queens about the situation. They either weren't available today or did not want to comment. Reporting live in Terre Haute, Blake Dollier, News 10.